I became involved in this subject, which is very controversial, because I'm very keen to unravel what's behind this, whether it's real or not. The controversy on the problem of multiple sclerosis and CCSVI is in two parts. The first part is whether the association between stenosis and obstructions in the veins, draining the brain, and multiple sclerosis is real. And the second question is whether by ballooning the stenosis, we improve the patient's symptoms. Well, in the first instance, the controversy has a reason because people have been using ultrasound to identify the presence of the stenosis. And m although most studies have shown a prevalence of about 80%, some studies are negative. But these studies are rather small. And we believe the, this is because of inappropriate use of duplex. The people who proceed to do venography they confirm the presence of these lesions in 80% of patients. So the association is real. We believe that patients who have the predisposition to multiple sclerosis and already have the stenosis in the veins will develop the full-blown disease, while in the absence of the stenosis, the disease will never appear. The second problem is whether patients improve after ballooning is because we don't have any randomized controlled trials. In observational studies, we know that the symptoms improve because people are less tired, they have better balance control, a better bladder control. But how long this improvement will last or whether it's real will only be proven by future randomized controlled trials.